I first met Amaya in 2013. Amaya's family was going through financial hardships on their own, from not having a home to live, to just the everyday finance struggles that single parents often deal with. She probably had five residences in the last six years, and it was very, very difficult. We ended up being blessed to stay with my friend, who was also my boss at the time. Three of us in one room, and my daughter kind of bunked in her office. It was hard getting my homework done, getting all that, waking up early, going to bed late because it was so far away. At a time where our clubhouse was mourning a loss or a passing of one of our youth members, Amaya stood up from being this quiet little girl in the corner to saying, you know what, we need to do something to help this family. I just offered Miss Brandy $10 at first because, you know, it's hard just going through like a death in the family and then having to deal with funeral costs, like that's what went through my head. So I was like, here's $10, I don't know what can help. And then I asked my friends if they were willing to help. She started a whole chain of events happening and our torch club went well on its way because of Amaya Johnson. She helped start a car wash for one of our youth development professionals who's deaf. We were able to purchase hearing aids for Mr. Chris. Um, well, by all the time I was homeless, being able to go to the Boys and Girls Club after school every day and like connect with my friends, even my best friend because she went to another school. So every day we got to see each other for a few hours, so it was great. I think it's important for people to donate to the Boys and Girls Club so they can go after school know that they're going to a safe and fun place every day. Know that they can get their homework done, have friends to be with, work out problems and like create life skills and social skills that they'll need. You don't always see the little seed that you plant in somebody. You've got to give back to these kids. There are future presidents of companies, there are CEOs, there are doctors, nurses that are in these clubs that just need that opportunity. And if these clubs are not supported by individuals like yourself, we need you guys. We really do. We need you guys. So please give. Give generously.